editing and uploading into sites is easy to integrate. The first thing to do is go to your Cumulus client and in your Cumulus client uh, go to your user manager. For those users that are allowed to upload or edit in sites, uh, depending on your version of Cumulus you will have to do that in the users or in uh, the roles. Uh, you can go to the server permissions and go to the additional permissions. For those people you want to uh, allow upload in sites, you have to add this permission. Uh, and the people you want to allow editing of records of metadata, you have to allow um, add this uh, permission. <coughs> Once you've done that, the second thing to do or to prepare is that in your Cumulus client, under metadata templates, you can create a metadata template that contains all the fields that you want uh, to use, that you want to be able to edit. And uh, you can even set a default value if you like. Um, this is what uh, you can create. If you want a different uh, metadata template for a specific user, just log in as that user, create a metadata template and make sure that the name starts with sites and then uh, that metadata template will be used for that user. When this is uh, prepared, uh, you can integrate it into sites very easily just by uh, in your sites folder adding uh, this folder to the customizations folder. You will notice that this folder has um, substructure and under which you can find asset shield.xml. This is the parameter file. If you open that parameter file you need to set the IP address of your server you need to set the a Cumulus user that is allowed to access all the catalogs you want to do editing in and uh, is allowed to do um, saving and updating and uh, editing of records in the catalog. You need to specify an asset handling set that is visible for that user and that is allowed to do uploading uh, and editing and same for a permission template. Below you find the name of the default metadata template to use from which the fields are selected if you want to edit. <clears throat> and underneath that you can find the text that is displayed in the different screens. So if you want different text to appear you can come here this, to this file and uh, modify it. Once all that is finished you need to restart your Tomcat twice. And twice because there are libraries in the customizations and they need to be copied on over once and uh, that uh, requires two uh, restarts of Tomcat. When all that is finished you are ready to use uh, editing and uploading in sites. If I, use, uh, if I log in as a user A user that is prepared so has the right permissions. Um, I can go into my collection basket and automatically I see a pencil, a pencil button here for those records. I can edit them individually. The fields that appear here are those fields that you specified in your asset handling set. And when I'm getting to these fields, I say I want a notes field and I'm just typing in test. As a status, I'm going to say this and I'm going to set here. Caption is Peter, writer is Vince, and a date I could change the date maybe to 302. When I click save, these changes are processed, your screen is uh, refreshed, and if you go back in, you can see that now these values are taken are set for this record. If you check another one you will notice that they are not uh, checked. If you uh, click 
here it will close the window if you click here it will close the window and go back from where you came from if you want to do a bulk edit every record that is in the collection basket you can set its values so I can say all and please be careful it will override any value in your collection basket of any of the other fields so I can set this to true and let's say I'm putting this on the 25th so it's a uh, year month day that's why I'm showing here the example uh, format and at this point all the values have been set to what I just uh, typed in uh, you can see all of this then how do I add new files I can add it to an existing basket or I can empty the basket and start from uh, scratch I can go in here and have first uh, it says first set information to add so I can say uh, some text and the value I want to set is approved and the value I want is true and I'm setting this to the 28 I can do single file uploading single file uploading means that I'm just clicking here and selecting a file and clicking then on the upload so this works like this I select the file I do open and then I can click upload now this is supported by any browser um, and as and when I click close uh, it will update my basket another alternative is to use uh, the drag and drop functionality in that case I can uh, open a folder any folder and I can drop files in so I can go here and I can say I want these two files and I can drop them in and they will be processed and you can see that uh, he's, you have a process bar and when you look here you can see all the names of the files that were processed and when I click close here it will update the basket and you will see that those two are in here as well now I can still go here for a bulk edit or an individual edit to modify some of the features so that's how you can easily upload and edit metadata in your catalog via sites. Thank you for joining. See you in the next movie.